right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. All right, uh, we're the brothers here out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. All right, um, first and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakwadash, double lines to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, uh, coming at you with a quick lesson. All right, uh, today is um, November 28th, which is uh, so called Thanksgiving. All right, and uh, you know, we're going to name this lesson happy thanks stealing okay um now that's a term um that uh so-called uh woke people will use okay because uh we are aware of how thanksgiving uh was was founded okay mm -hmm. um the so-called celebration of thanksgiving was uh was started okay really from the from the so-called white man um stealing uh, from from the Native Americans, the Gadites, okay? That's right. All right, which you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites, all right? So the Native Americans, they're our brothers, so we shouldn't partake, partake in, in um, you know, the celebration of, of our brothers being uh, slaughtered by their enemy. That's right. Okay? Because, you know, um, in the history books, uh, in school, Okay, they try to paint this picture like, oh yeah, you know, there was unity between uh, the pilgrims and the Native Americans. Uh -huh. You know, they had some type of, uh, what did they say? They had some type of uh, peace, mm -hmm. peace uh, um, um, feast, right? you know, um, which that wasn't the case, all right, when you go into the history, mm -hmm. all right? So, um, shit, we'll just go straight into the precepts. Right. This is a... Uh... <clears throat> St. John chapter 10 and verse 10 It says the thief cometh not But for to steal And to kill and to destroy In which You know this, this like we were talking prior to um, The recording really the scripture is Applies to uh, wicked Israelites That's coming to the truth You know and, and, and they try to uh, Basically you know Put stumbling blocks in front of the uh, uh, Sincere men You know but, but you can like we said you can apply this to Esau Edom, man. You know, when this when this so-called uh, uh you know white man came to the Americas, like the brothers said, they you know they tried to, you know, had these different peace trees, but then they ended up breaking them, man. You know, and that's what the so-called white man came to do. He came to steal, you know, steal the so-called Native Americans land, you know, and he ate yeah, he, he, then they um killed them off, man. Alright? It says, um, uh reading on, it says, I am come that they might have life you know and the eyes talking about Yahweh Shah it's Yahweh Shah speaking it says and they and that they might have it more abundantly I am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep man yeah so it's talking about Yahweh Shah but the point is the um about the um that thief man you know which he saw is the is the is the, is the biggest thief in the, in the history of mankind itself man you know somebody had a precept the one to, the one to get if not, I had, I had something else. You got something for that? Okay. Yeah, right. you can bring out your heart. I can have to. All right, this is um, Isaiah chapter 33. In verse uh, 1, and somebody, you guys can break it okay. down if you want. It's Isaiah 33 and 1. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and dealt, and they dealt treacherously. Uh, Slaki, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. Right. So woe unto them that spoil us, which that spoil basically means to rob. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know everything the so-called white man has has done since he's been in, pow in power is deceive and rob. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it said, uh, what was the second part? Yep. It says, um, <clears throat> it says, and deal is treacherously, mm -hmm. and they dealt not treacherously with thee. Right. So. And deal is treacherously So You know That whole um, Process of, of them Taking the so uh, uh, Taking the so-called Native Americans land Alright And, and um, You know Breaking those treaties And those agreements That they had That's dealing treacherously man. That's right That's called being a backstabber That's right Okay Yep And And You know That he's not to be trusted That's right Someone like that Is not to be trusted And, and that's why Native Americans 
that are Americanized and, and you know, you, you've forgotten your history, you got to wake the hell up, man. Yeah. You know, we got to get on GAD, too, because GAD be simple as hell, um, you know, celebrating these so-called holidays, man. You know? That's right. Not knowing the history, not knowing that that so-called white man basically, uh, uh, you know, stole... stole um, <clears throat> Stole everything from them, man. Yeah, that's right. You know, we watched that movie. Uh, what was that? Uh, and what was the name of it? Uh, um, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Battle of um, Battle something Wounded Knee, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle of the Wounded Knee. Yeah. All right, and that was going into how how uh, basically, I mean that that was just a more in depth in depth um, movie on on the evil workings of the so called white man, man. That's right. You know, it basically shows you how, how you know, they came in and, and you know, basically uh, went to war with the Gadites. Mm -hmm. And their power was the guns. All right. Because during that time, Native Americans didn't have guns. All right. Which eventually they acquired them through a, different agreements and stuff like that. But initially, the, the so-called white man's um, upper hand was the sword yep. or the gun. That's right. That's right. Um, oh, yeah, so, come on. I'm, I mean, finish oh, the verse. Yeah, so uh, starting back in the middle of the, uh, the first verse, mm -hmm. it says, "When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. Mm -hmm. And when thou shalt make an end of to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee." Yeah. So, so hey, an eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna take. Really, scriptures say we're gonna we're gonna give unto him twofold, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so everything that he's taken and spoiled, okay, we're gonna take and spoil. You know, that's right. The script, um, what's that script, uh, precept? Um, if if robbers by night shall they not um, take? Oh, that's a uh, uh, that's an Obadiah. Uh huh. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You know, yeah. if if these by night robbers, you know. Shall they not take everything? Yep, yep. You know, or Job twenty, we went in, which you know, we might get into in a second. But um, basically, basically, how the so-called white man is gonna basically cough up his goods, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and and re repay. Yep. Because when you when you um, see the Lord is a righteous, He's a just power. So best believe that there's a repayment plan for for um for everything, man. Mm -hmm. You know, everything right. you do is going to be taken into account. Just like, <laughs> it's almost like the children of Israel have insurance, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. Through the through the power of the Lord, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. We got insurance, man. And guess what? We're going to claim <laughs> mm -hmm. everything that you fucking took, man. That's right. You know? That's right. Go ahead. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that... Lead it into captivity should go into captivity. Mm -hmm. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. Mm -hmm. And Esau, you have been ever since you came over here. Uh, besides uh, uh, Amerigo Vespucci, um, Christopher Columbus, and the other uh, uh, navigators for Queen Elizabeth, or under the banner of Queen Elizabeth taking the land uh, to Andrew Jackson. Which is on a twenty dollar face uh, bill. You're not innocent, man. You're gonna get killed for 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 for, for murdering us. That's right. Killing is a righteous thing. So the Most High is gonna have it to where at a certain point in time you're gonna get your judgment. The wicked are reserved for the uh, for the wrath to come. Just like uh, uh, the brother um, Gamal said, it's like we have insurance. Because mm -hmm. the Lord said when, when we go into captivity, we won't have no insurance of our life. Mm -hmm. Only in the Lord will we have it. When we mm -hmm. have it. Yeah. So the, so, so the Most High is going to come back, even though they're celebrating these uh, uh, or commemorating the, the downfall of uh, Jake, especially Gad on this day. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be a time where we're going to be celebrating the kingdom of heaven too for your, for your downfall. That's right. Uh, yep. Yes, yeah, on. No, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'll just get Joel 20. Okay. Pull it up on my phone. Uh, let's turn it on. 15. All right, I, I, I read for you. Okay. It's uh, Joel 20 and 15. It says, He have swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly. Right. 
So going into what we were saying is, um, you know, he swallowed down riches, which is it is resources basically. Yep. You know, he's acquired basically everything through slavery. Okay, through through like we said, deception, through um, you know, uh, uh, thievery. Yep. Okay, and it says he shall vomit them up. So it's just like some, just like a, a little kid that uh, that basically breaks in the uh, pantry <laughs> and eats up all the snacks and gets full off of them. He's gonna he's gonna throw that shit up. Mm-hmm. You know, he's gonna vomit it up because mm-hmm. it's basically you know it it, it, it was. It was stolen, man. That's right. He wasn't meant. He wasn't really meant to have it. You know. Mm-hmm. Yep. I have had something for you too. Mm-hmm. It's a couple chapters over. Mm-hmm. They go right with that. Job twenty-seven. And um, let's see. Yeah, it's Job. Job twenty-seven and fifteen. It says, though, those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. Though he heap up silver as the dust, and prepare raiment as the clay. I was talking about Esau, going back to where um, that Job 20, you know, Esau gathering all these riches and, and things that he stole from the, from the tribes. It says, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. You see? Which goes back to the scripture we've been bringing out, all right? About that, you said the eye for eye, uh, two for two, you know? And uh, uh, basically, Esau is storing his stuff up just so the elect can get it, man. You know? It says, um, 17 again, it says, He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. You see that? Who's the innocent? First and foremost, the elect, man, or the nation of Israel. You know, so this, so just on the topic, the so-called Native Americans, which is the tribe of Gad, they're gonna get their their portion back, man. You know, and and then more, you know, uh, more than what they've been given in, uh, at, at you know in the beginning, man, which is this land, America. And all right, they're gonna uh, uh, they're gonna inherit the um, the uh, so-called white man as a servant in the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so the so-called white man did all this stealing and robbing and and. and and gathering riches, heaping silver unto himself. He's only doing that just so the so that the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahushai can obtain it, all right, uh, in the last days, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it on that preset. Come, come. Uh, was that anything else? Uh, now we can close out on that. Come, yeah, we're yeah, we about to arrive at camp. So, um, we had, you know, that's pretty much the point is, um, you know, uh, so called Thanksgiving. Is is a is a wicked holiday, man. Yeah. That's that's celebrated by our people, mm-hmm. and it, and you know really it needs to stop, man. You yeah. know the, the Lord is gonna uh, put an end to to um, the mirth, as the scriptures say, mm-hmm. man. You know. Yeah. So um, you know with that uh, we'll close out by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakhakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and Shalom, Shalom.